talk to us. Revenue growth, 24%. This is an attractive part of the business. What about the partnerships? Because you just joined forces with Toyota. What do these sorts of partnerships bring to your bottom line? Well, we've been working with many different automakers, the tier one suppliers, mapping companies, and many startups in this space. And in fact, creating a self-driving car is a very complex problem. So our technology, our hardware, and our software is the foundation upon which many automakers and other partners are developing self-driving vehicles, cars, trucks, and shuttles. So it is all about now the automotive, the autonomous vehicle, not just before it seemed to be the infotainment of a car that you guys dined out on. But is this really going to be a driver of your revenue, of your profitability, is going to be autonomous driving? Absolutely. I think what you've seen um, over the years that we've been involved in automotive, which is over a decade now, is driving those touch screens in cars like the Tesla Model S and Model X and the, the Audis and Hondas. Um, and so we bring a lot of computing horsepower into the vehicle, originally for graphics, but now to process all the information coming into the car. So an autonomous vehicle or semi-autonomous vehicle will have a lot of sensors coming in. So we're working with Volvo and Audi, Mercedes-Benz, Tesla, as well as the newly announced Toyota. So we're developing technology that's also being used by companies like Baidu in China for mapping. And so, in fact, the technology we've developed is enabling a whole new revolution in transportation. We're processing all the data coming in from cameras, from radar, from LIDAR. That all has to then be understood, much like a human would understand that information, but we're doing it inside an AI supercomputer. I mean, what is amazing is, of course, the spectrum of companies you're working with, but also the competition is heating up. Mobileye bought by Intel. How much does that make this more crowded space? Does, does it make it a little bit hotter for you? You know, this is a brand new industry, really. Um, the whole self-driving space is wide open. We've been focused on taking supercomputing technology that we've developed that is today in the cloud. Our processors and our hardware and software are used by Google and Amazon and Facebook for really high performance computing. And now we're taking that, we're bringing it into the car. Nobody else really has the technology, the hardware or the software from the auto industry to do this. So it's coming from outside and then we're partnering with the automakers to bring this to market. I think what's fascinating is also the simulations that you're doing. There's much sto spoken by Waymo, owned by Alphabet, about the miles that they've got out on the road of these self-driving vehicles. But a lot of car companies are now using you for simulating this sort of data. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us how it works and well, whether regulators are really going to like it? I, I think they will. Basically, to train a car how to drive like a human, you need to give it a lot of data. And that comes in the form of video from cars driving around, mapping data is used in this process. But the reality is we need to simulate all these different possible scenarios, what could happen while cars are driving. So we're going to use a combination of actually driven miles and then using deep learning, we're training these neural nets to understand how to react in potentially hazardous situations. So we don't always see hazards while we're driving, but we can simulate those hazards. So using our graphics technology, we can produce potentially dangerous scenarios, kids walking in front of vehicles, somebody running a red light, somebody driving recklessly. All that can be done inside the computer, and we can iterate and we can simulate much faster than real time. So we can simulate millions and millions of miles of driving in just one day. And Danny, therefore, is your business ready and able and where it needs to be to take on this mammoth task? Have you got the talent in-house? You, are you struggling to bring yet more in? And, and what about research and development and the like? Great, great questions. And the reality is NVIDIA is an AI company. So whether it's an automotive or healthcare or even finance, our technology, our hardware, our software, our deep learning expertise is really revolutionizing all these different industries. So we have a lot of AI talent in-house. We're always hiring more. But what we're also doing is helping to train others. We run a deep learning institute. We're partnering with Udacity. We work with many universities who are changing their curriculum to train a whole new wave of engineers and data scientists who understand deep learning, understand artificial intelligence, and how the GPU, our graphics processing units, are really helping to revolutionize all these different industries. 